G'day and welcome to my garage. I cast a new handle for the lathe tailstock, which I dropped a number of months back and broke the handle off. Where is it? There. Snap that off. Well, then, yeah, this broke. So I'm, I've cast another one up. This was from a uh, template for, well, what was it, the um, milling machine. So I'm just cleaning it up, getting it ready to fit onto the, uh, onto the lathe. Gotta, gotta move you out of the way a bit. Try that. Yep, nice finish. Got a bit of a fillet in the corner there because I used a round nose high speed steel. Um, now let's see if I can chamfer this edge. Okay. Pop a hole through that. 10 mil probably. I've got to check on that. So let me do that. The shaft, the shaft of this um, measures 313, 312 and a half is 5 16th, so I'll put a 5 16th drill in there and we'll see how we go. Always drill it out later. Oh, I'm a bit, neg bit not certain about it because an 8mm an 8mm drill is a snug fit into a plastic handle. Well, I'm finished on this side, but I'll leave this natural, maybe, I'll see. Just, just have to clean that hole up.
This is the uh, tailstock handle for the lathe. We'd, I'm back into machining this now. That's pretty good. Okay, I just have to um, tap that and that's the crank handle sorted. I might just need to clean this up a little bit. Some of you may remember I dropped the tail stock onto the floor once and snapped the handle off and cracked this and yeah. So that was a few months ago when I was building the dividing head. Anyhow, last couple of days and uh, I don't think I'll have any video on this because the camera crashed. I'll still got to see if I can retrieve any of the um, footage on there. But as far as the camera is concerned, it doesn't see any files. So anyhow, I cast this up from one of the one of the um, templates um, any from the these are handles off the milling machine again yes anyhow I cast up a handle cleaned it all up tapped and drilled and tapped a thread had to ream this out to eight millimeters and um, countersink in here. I just took that out with a 12 mil end mill. And anyhow, it fits like a glove. So it's good to, good to have a fully functioning wheel on the mini lathe tailstock. 